Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Christopher Chen. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to make a magazine design, both cover and in inside of the page on Figma. Yes, on Figma. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so I've been creating a series of tutorials on Figma. Uh, you can see them here, but like I want to open a new file so i will not disturb these ones so to do that you go to pages and then click a plus you open page two so i'm going to name this one magazine if you want this project file because i'm going to be updating it from time to time the link is in the description it's not free it's paid but it's affordable there are three major things you need to do then the first one is the frame understanding the kind of frame you need to use so you press f for frame this is your frame icon and then go to paper and click on a4 to give you this size it's 595 pixels width 842 pixels height now naturally it's pixels but we're, we're not supposed to be concerned but i like my design to be in high quality so what i'll do is press k to scale and hold out and increase it until one of the sizes is 1000 pixel plus so the height is already 1000 now cover let's design the cover so to make this video short so that we don't go far i'm just going to design a simple cover and then we move forward so i have a picture of a woman or let me find somebody so that it doesn't look like i'm i like woman mm -mm. so i have this guy's picture and i'm going to use the color scheme on the picture so that it's easier for us so i copy the picture from pinterest and paste here so this is the picture so press k to scale the picture and make it bigger like this so the magazine we are currently making is a creative centered magazine not a media standard magazine is a creative centered now let's add our text let's see the magazine name is the creative the creative show on um, the creative hall yeah hall frame yeah so i'm, I'm using the default font for figma which is inter Press K to scale, make it big like this, or you bring it down here. Anyone, and then make it bigger like this. Now, the the, pers the person's name, the person's name, I can make it so his name should be Andrean, Adrian, or Andrean, or Adrian, Adrian Johnson. So duplicate this to duplicate faster. Hold out and drag the mouse so that if you hold out you see that the, the arrow is two on the mouse because you are duplicating so or let's say Adrian Caleb Caleb is short yeah so I like the both of them bring them up here now it's magazine we're going to change the font definitely so this particular font I'll change it to Edwardian script or something different let me see this one work no i don't like this one mm, let me find yeah dancing script is on figma if you see it there dancing script or yeah dancing script then my letter spacing is minus five percent so you are wondering why these texts are tight it's because the letter spacing is minus five percent now make scale this down bring the caleb up like this now we, we need another text somewhere here see like a quote a a creative is a genius so I'm going to scale this down. Press K to scale. Bring it inside. Press V 
to adjust the text and then press k to scale and put it here then press ctrl i to make it italics and then press ctrl b so it's not bold not everything has to be bold yeah then come up duplicate the text issue 25 press ctrl b to bold and then if, if you don't want this extra space on your text just come here and then click on this two arrow yeah then reduce this down yeah then we need the uh, a barcode yeah so we have our barcode and reduce it press key to scale put it down here now this is the first page now we need to add colors and make the image pop so on the last video i talked about photopia how to use photoshop inside of figma so i'm going to do the same thing now just right click make sure your image is selected right click and then go to plugin if you don't have the plugin come to this area here for resources and then search for your plugin you search for photopia you see it so yeah so I already have it as I showing you here. So it will load Photoshop inside of your Figma. So you can add photo effects. So I go to filter, go to camera raw. I'm just going to scroll down to texture, increase the texture, increase the clarity a little bit. Yeah, and then click OK. And then press Ctrl S to save and then you can cancel everything. So you see that there's a difference in the image it pops out now and the last thing we are supposed to add color on this particular thing everything is not supposed to be white so which one let's add color on the creative whole frame yeah what kind of color will work here now we're already using red and there's already a contrasting color that is black the best color which we're supposed to use is the primary color that is yellow yellow or anything from cream not something that is dark so i'm going to use yellow i have a color code on my head already ffb404 yeah but this is not yellow enough so let me change the color to a lighter one to change the color select the text you see that the, the first word is on white but this, the last two words are on different color now if you want to change the color you don't go to fill again you come click on it go to this scroll down you see your selection colors click on the, this, one, this one and then drag the yellow like this exactly and then we can see adrian name should be the same yellow if you are looking for the same yellow just click on it you see it here you see yeah so you have that this is your first page a4 page one let me just do it page one press ctrl d to duplicate for page two press enter delete everything now let's make this guy give me body text so you can see this is the one we are doing the, like the major thing on drag all of this here press k and scale down like this change the text to black all of them to black by using white inside of this even if we want to use another different color we still need to use the red in the cover so i like this to go to your fill go to color picker pick the red yep then we can still use the same image but make it black and white so that it doesn't contrast let's crop first crop Hold out to you know size it from different angles at the same time. Drag the image to wherever you want it to be, and then bring. So bring this one. Let's bring this one like this. Bring this one like this. Press enter. Now on your few properties here, reduce the saturation, increase the contrast. Increase the exposure a little bit. Use the highlights, use the shadows. 
cancel then you can put him here scale down best key to scale scale down here yeah so our in frame text let's make this image a little bit so that it fits according to you know the text now his name is still adrian caleb i like the top of them drag them here change the color here black caleb should be red and then press key skill to make this two name not just like go anywhere just press ctrl g to group when you group you see here just rename ctrl r to rename and say so put name for future purpose you need it just keep it here since we are keeping it here that text has to be white now yeah we have that one there now i'm going to use lorem ispium for text because i don't know what to write you can just search on google lorem lorem ipsium see my screen so you know what i'm saying so it's a dummy text just dummy text everything so i'm going to copy the heading one come here put out drag down press t and ctrl v press k to scale reduce the size hold out so that it will reduce the size in the both edges and bring this down here and reduce the text size to like 24 yeah then duplicate this and then come here copy all of this press ctrl v now remove it from both to regular and bring this here like this if you want to you know make adjustment to the text so that it doesn't break like this you come to text here go to this three dots here see alignment oh sorry no alignment resizing go to box uh, they remove this details okay details let's see they remove this thing away from here okay it's here sorry it's alignment i've seen it so under alignment you see left alignment center right and generalize or justify click on the justify so that everything has you know is arranged can I still reduce it small and then can I just repeat the same text hold shift hold this drag down then we'll shift all this drag down the space so let's try and add some space we drag this one like this a little bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then drag it down you see it's look making sense now if you want to change the font because most magazines they use like a different font for the reading text so you can just highlight all of them like this at once and change it to times new roman that's the name of the font they usually use yeah and then you can copy and then paste so that it fills up and duplicate to the wrong place so yeah press t and then enter paste and drag this down this part clean the remaining one you don't need them yeah so you can just copy this one and replace it here so that it doesn't look weird Bring this one up. Paste. Bring this on. Paste. Yeah. So 
so this is there then maybe something around here delete everything again uh let's find another picture yeah it's the same guy oh, it's a different person anyone paste it increase it and then a creative is a genius increase the size Press contribute to Wiki Board and can change the text to Times New Roman. Yeah. And reduce it. Yeah. And then if you want to if you want to since the text is blocked in here, let's bring this one down. Yeah. If you want to now export this, this is how you now export everything so that you know yes you've done your magazine and it's in pdf go to figma go to file scroll down to export frames to pdf click on it it's going to ask you color profiles is the same as srgb quality medium if you say high the file is going to be high if you say medium it's going to be medium i'll stay at medium and export to ask you where you want to put your exports just put it in documents and just rename it as the creative hall frame now to confirm if it actually worked go to your go to your file see it here pdf and then we check as you can see it's in pdf and bring this down okay, i can bring this down and see everything is in the pdf so yeah that's how you make pdfs magazine design on figma if you want to learn about this more you can comment below so that i we'll know whether i'll make another video explaining in depth about particular stuff but it's not that hard it's just easy when i say i can do something like this on figma people are surprised but you know as you can see it's possible yeah so thanks so much for watching hit the like button subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next video